Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Thursday, March 21st, 2024. The year is 1980. Our main topic, Dallas aired its A House Divided episode, which led to eight months of international speculation regarding who shot JR. On March 21, 1980, the popular television series Dallas aired its 25th episode of the third season, A House Divided. This episode would become a pivotal moment in television history, as it ended with a cliffhanger that sparked an unprecedented level of international speculation and fascination. The episode's final scene featured the character J.R. Ewing, played by Larry Hagman, being shot by an unknown assailant, leaving audiences eagerly awaiting the resolution of the mystery. The Who Shot J.R.? Phenomenon captivated audiences worldwide, with fans engaging in heated debates, placing bets, and even creating their own theories about the identity of the shooter. The mystery remained unsolved for eight months, until the fourth episode of the following season, Who Done It, which aired on September 23, 1980. The reveal of J.R. Shooter became the second most-watched episode in American television history, with an estimated 83 million viewers tuning in to find out the culprit's identity. The Who Shot J.R.? Phenomenon not only showcased the immense popularity of Dallas but also highlighted the power of television to captivate audiences and create cultural touchstones. The episode's success was a testament to the show's ability to craft compelling storylines and characters, particularly the charismatic and ruthless J.R. Ewing, who became a cultural icon of the 1980s. The episode's impact extended beyond the realm of television, as it became a cultural reference point, with phrases like who shot J.R.? And it was a Dallas night entering the popular lexicon. The episode's success also paved the way for future television dramas, inspiring producers and writers to create similarly engaging and suspenseful storylines. In conclusion, the Who Shot JR? phenomenon surrounding the A House Divided episode of Dallas remains a significant moment in television history, showcasing the medium's ability to captivate audiences and create cultural touchstones. The episode's success not only solidified Dallas' place as a beloved and enduring television series but also left a lasting impact on popular culture, inspiring future generations of television creators and enthusiasts alike. The year is 1928. On the news, Charles Lindbergh is presented with the Medal of Honor for the first solo transatlantic flight. On this day, May 21, in 1927, President Calvin Coolidge awarded Charles Lindbergh the Medal of Honor for his historic solo transatlantic flight. This remarkable achievement marked a new era in air transportation and cemented Lindbergh's place in aviation history. Context, the Medal of Honor, the highest military decoration in the United States, is awarded to recognize exceptional acts of valor by members of the armed forces. Charles Lindbergh, a military officer and aviator, was recognized for his incredible feat of flying nonstop from New York City to Paris, a distance of 3,600 miles, in just 33.5 hours. Historical significance, Lindbergh's solo flight across the Atlantic was a groundbreaking achievement that captured the imagination of people around the world. It marked a significant milestone in aviation history and paved the way for the development of commercial air travel. The flight also symbolized the spirit of American innovation and determination, inspiring generations to come. The Medal of Honor presentation ceremony was a momentous occasion, with President Coolidge praising Lindbergh for his bravery and skill. In his acceptance speech, Lindbergh humbly acknowledged the honor, saying, I am just a symbol of the progress of aviation. Today, we remember Charles Lindbergh's remarkable achievement and the impact it had on the world. His legacy continues to inspire us to push the boundaries of what is possible and to strive for greatness. Our selected holiday for today, Vernal Equinox Related Observances, see March 20th. 
The vernal equinox, also known as the spring equinox, marks the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere and autumn in the southern hemisphere. It is a time of renewal and balance, as day and night are equal in length, signaling the end of winter's darkness and the start of a new cycle of life. Many cultures and religions have celebrated this time of year with rituals and festivals to welcome the return of the sun and the coming of warmer weather. Cultural significance The vernal equinox has been a significant event in many cultures throughout history. In ancient times, it marked the beginning of the agricultural season, when farmers would plant their crops and prepare for the coming harvest. It was also seen as a time of spiritual renewal, as people celebrated the return of the sun and the reawakening of nature. Many ancient cultures built structures aligned with the sun's path on the equinox, such as Stonehenge in England and Chichen Itza in Mexico, which were used for ceremonies and rituals to mark the occasion. In modern times, the vernal equinox is still celebrated by many cultures and religions, often with festivals and rituals that reflect the themes of renewal and balance. For example, in Japan, the equinox is celebrated with the Spring Equinox Festival, where people visit shrines and temples to pray for good health and fortune. In Iran, the equinox marks the beginning of the new year, or Nowruz, which is celebrated with family gatherings and traditional foods. In many cultures, the vernal equinox is also associated with themes of fertility and rebirth. In ancient cultures, the return of the sun and the coming of spring were seen as a time of fertility and new life, and many rituals and festivals were centered around these themes. Today, these themes are still celebrated in many cultures, often with symbols of fertility and rebirth, such as eggs, rabbits, and flowers. Overall, the vernal equinox is a significant event that has been celebrated by many cultures throughout history. It marks a time of renewal, balance, and new beginnings, and is often associated with themes of fertility and rebirth. On this day, in 1897, Sim Gokas, Dutch composer and conductor, d. 1943, was born. Sim Gokas was a renowned Dutch composer and conductor who left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. Born in 1897, Gokas showed a prodigious talent for music from a young age, studying at the Amsterdam Conservatory and later at the Berlin Academy of Music. His early works, including his Symphony No. 1, were met with critical acclaim and established him as a rising star in the classical music scene. Gokas' career was marked by his innovative and eclectic style, which drew inspiration from a wide range of sources, including jazz, folk music, and avant-garde experimentation. His compositions were known for their complexity and depth, and he was particularly praised for his ability to blend different musical traditions in a way that was both accessible and sophisticated. In addition to his work as a composer, Gokas was also a skilled conductor, leading performances with many of the world's top orchestras, including the Berlin Philharmonic and the Amsterdam Concertgebouw. He was particularly known for his interpretations of Mozart and Mahler, and his performances were always highly anticipated events. Despite his many successes, Goka's life was cut tragically short when he died in 1943, at the age of 46. His untimely death was a result of the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands, during which he was forced to go into hiding to avoid persecution. Despite the difficult circumstances, Goka's continued to compose, and his final works, including his string quartet No. 3, are considered some of his most powerful and emotional. Today, Goka's legacy lives on through his music, which continues to be performed and celebrated around the world. His contributions to classical music are widely recognized, and he is remembered as a true original, a composer who pushed the boundaries of what was possible and left a lasting impact on the art form he loved. We remember the life of Willis Reed, a former NBA basketball player, born 1942, who died on this date in 2023. Willis Reed, a legendary figure in the world of basketball, left an indelible mark on the sport during his illustrious career. As a player, coach, and general manager, Reed's dedication, passion, and leadership were evident in every aspect of his professional life. Born on June 25, 1942, in Heiko, Louisiana, Reed's love for basketball was evident from a young age. He honed his skills at Grambling State University, where he led his team to a national invitation tournament, NIT, championship in 1961. His impressive performances caught the attention of the New York Knicks, who drafted him in the second round of the 1964 NBA draft. Reed spent his entire 10-year playing career with the Knicks, becoming a cornerstone of the team and a fan favorite. 
He was a dominant force on the court, earning seven NBA All-Star selections and five All-NBA nods, including a first-team selection in 1970, when he was also named the NBA Most Valuable Player. Reed's impressive statistics, 18.7 points, 12.9 rebounds, and 2.7 assists per game, are a testament to his exceptional skill and dedication. Reed's crowning achievement came when he led the Knicks to two NBA championships in 1970 and 1973. He was named the NBA Finals MVP both times, cementing his status as a champion and a leader. His iconic Game 7 performance in the 1970 Finals, where he scored 33 points and grabbed 16 rebounds despite a severe thigh injury, is etched in the memories of basketball fans worldwide. Reed's impact on the game extends beyond his playing career. He served as a coach and general manager for the Knicks, leading the team to another NBA championship in 1975 as a member of the front office. His contributions to the sport were recognized in 1982, when he was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. In 1996, Reed was named one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history, and in 2022, he was included in the NBA's 75th anniversary team. Reed's legacy extends beyond the basketball court. He was a devoted husband and father, and his commitment to his community was unwavering. He was known for his kindness, humility, and generosity, and he used his platform to make a positive impact on the lives of others. Reed's passing on August 21, 2022, left a void in the basketball world, but his spirit and achievements continue to inspire and motivate future generations. In conclusion, Willis Reed's remarkable career and life serve as a shining example of what can be achieved through hard work, dedication, and passion. His impact on the game of basketball is immeasurable, and his legacy continues to inspire and motivate those who follow in his footsteps. This was Today in History, an AIA podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.